Hello everybody. In this video we're going to be looking at what type of factors affect our temperature and what impact they have obviously on the climate as well. So the first factor we're going to be looking at is going to be that of latitude. Now latitude is probably the most important factor that affects temperature. And the way that it works as you can see is that if we have our world and we put in the equator the sun's rays shine directly on the equator and its energy is very focused in one specific area. However, because of the curvature of our Earth, the sun's energy and the sun's rays that hit the polar regions, as you can see from the same thickness of energy, is spread over a much larger surface area. Because of this, near the equator is like a magnifying glass. It heats that area much, much more. And near the poles is more dispersed, therefore it is much cooler. This is why in the polar regions we have a cold climate, we have snow and ice, and why in the equatorial regions we have high temperatures and we have tropical rainforests. The next factor that affects temperature is altitude. Now altitude is how high something is above sea level. So if we were to look at our atmosphere, and we were to think um, what our atmosphere is like, we would notice that in the lower parts of our atmosphere, right, when we have got lots of atmosphere above us, it is quite warm. This is because the atmosphere acts like a blanket and it contains lots of greenhouse gases. And the more greenhouse gases it has, the warmer it is. Whereas in the upper atmosphere, we have very few greenhouse gases. Therefore, the smaller and the thinner the blanket, therefore the cooler that it is. Now, the way that this relationship works typically is that we lose one degree Celsius every hundred meters. So, for example, if we were to start at zero meters and it was to be 20 degrees Celsius, and we were to climb 1000 meters, we would notice that this temperature would drop by 10 degrees or one degree every 100 meters, uh, and it would be 10 degrees cooler. However, please be aware, the actual temperature loss is less than one degree Celsius. Now this is due to water content in the atmosphere. And this is because when you have water content in the atmosphere in the gas form, and it rises, it begins to cool and it condenses. That point of condensation is an exothermic reaction and it releases heat, warming the atmosphere slightly. Therefore, I believe in reality, depending on the water content of the atmosphere, we tend to lose about 0 0.7 degrees Celsius every 100 meters. It is possible that if we have a very moist atmosphere for the air that goes up to not cool as much as we would expect, but when it comes down, it warms by that one degree and it creates a much warmer wind. This is uh, the Chinook, for example, that we have in the United States of America. The next factor that affects temperature is that of ocean currents and also wind direction. So the ocean currents uh, affect temperature because there are different types of ocean currents. We have cold ocean currents and also warm ocean currents. So basically, any area where we have warm oceans, we are going to have warm and wetter uh, environments. And any areas that we have cold ocean currents, we're going to have cooler and also drier environments. So you can see on this map, for example, uh, the most famous one being the Humboldt Current that comes up the coast, uh, the west coast of South America. That is a cold ocean current and it brings uh, clear skies and dry climate to the west part of South America. Wind direction also like currents affect the temperature depending on which direction they come from. For example, uh, any wind direction that is coming from polar regions or from glaciers is going to obviously be quite cold and it's going to lower the temperature. However, any wind that is coming from say a desert is going to probably be much warmer and drier, which is also going to affect the temperature. Next, we have maritime and continental land masses, and this has a big impact on temperature. 
We start with maritime. So maritime basically means near the sea. So if we're near the sea in the summer, we tend to find that the sea breeze is quite cool and it lowers the land temperature. This is why lots of people like living near coastal areas because it makes the temperature in the summer nice and cool. The opposite, however, happens in continental areas. If the wind is blowing from the land, the land heats up much faster, and therefore it is going to be a warm wind that is going to be coming uh, towards you and is going to be increasing your temperature. This is why the center of continents tend to be much warmer than the coastal areas. In winter, the opposite happens. The sea retains heat much better than land does. It stores heat inside of it. And therefore, in winter, any breeze that comes from the sea is likely to be relatively warm and moist, making sure that the land by the sea doesn't freeze that much. In winter, again, as with in the continental climate in summer, the land cools very, very quickly, and therefore any temperature or wind that is coming from the land is likely to be freezing. This is why any winds that come from the interior of continents are icy cold. So the basic rule is that the sea makes all of the temperatures more mild, both in uh, the summer and also in the winter. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it educational. If you like it, please press the button, and if you'd like to see more of this content, please subscribe. Thank you again, and have a really great day.